what is going on everybody welcome back to my channel today we are back at it with the genesis as per usual so in the last episode we did the fenders hood vents i've gone ahead and fixed this kind of like fitment right here the way i did this was i put more bolts right here and then put a bracket at the bottom of here if you can see that right there like so and basically this kind of repositioned it with the fender i could push this up and tighten it a little bit but since the bumper might come off for paint. I'm not really too concerned with that at the moment. A bunch of y'all were saying that I should go ahead and run mesh just to protect all this, because as you can see, this one is absolutely chipped up. So I will be running mesh. I'm not gonna do it at the moment because everything's gonna come off, but whenever it comes time to paint it, we'll throw the mesh on. So yeah, for the most part, this entire front end is complete. And that is how that is looking, it's looking clean. Honestly, it looks so amazing just having panels that like line up for the most part. Like having this be fully tightened up, that's gonna look so nice. It just looks OEM-ish to me. Today we are gonna be continuing by sanding down the rest of everything. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the rear bumper. As you can see, we have so many scratches. So many that kinda of need to be sanded out. So I'm gonna sand all of that down and then work my way to the quarter panel and work my way to the door. All right, rear bumper has been fully sanded as you can see, like so. We're gonna move over to the quarter panel and then work our way over to the door. I've gone ahead and masked off this portion as the sander will probably hit that. And I'm probably gonna skip like this area because I'm gonna take this off later. But for now, we're just gonna go get this sander for the most part. Alright, it is currently day two in the video, technically day three for me, and I've gone ahead and done a lot off camera. I redid this entire duck bill. As you can see, this is like the smoothest it's ever been. Sweet. I started doing the bottom of this, but I haven't finished. I also started priming a bunch of the spots that I went ahead and sanded, just to make sure it wasn't exposed with just straight up bare metal. So that's looking sweet. One thing I wanted to do to the gen for a long time is a bumper cut. I haven't seen too many people do it with gens and I've seen one on YouTube that I like and I think that I'm gonna do it. It'd be better cutting it now since there's no paint on the bumper and I don't have to be as precise. But essentially what I'm gonna do is cut off the rest of this diffuser and essentially cut off like a portion of the rear bumper there. I'm not 100% if I wanna do that but I am for sure gonna cut off the black diffuser. Um, I'm not sure how to look, if I'm gonna be honest. It might look clean, it might look custom. I don't know if it'll match just because of the exhaust, especially since it sits so low, but why not? What do we lose if we don't? All right, that is how that is looking. I actually like that. Uh, I do need to clean this up. There's a whole bunch of styrofoam, I assume, which is for sound deadening and rattling maybe. And then trim this up with the Dremel, cut this piece off, so let me clean this up real quick. All right, next I'm gonna move over to cutting off this little side portion like so. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do it and see how it turns out. So let's mask it off. Darling, you. Let me. 
All right, this is what the gin is looking like. I've gone ahead and touched up the rear bumper, smoothed out some of the bottom edges and hit it with some primer. And honestly, after looking at this for like a few days, I think this is growing on me. At first, I'm gonna keep it 100. I didn't like it that much. It is definitely growing on me for sure. I think the rear bumper definitely looks the best from like this side angle right here where you can see the quad tips kind of poking out. I think that definitely gives it kind of an aggressive look even though it's stock. I think the rear is definitely kind of like my least favorite angle for this because the bottom of this muffler is like absolutely faded and definitely needs to be restored. So I definitely think polishing that will make it look a whole lot nicer, but it's definitely grown on me. Even like no bash bar, this this definitely looks on point still. Definitely liking it. You can see the quad tips and the fender cut. I definitely like this angle. It's definitely on point. Well, that is gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode. I definitely like this mod. Leave a comment down below if you like this. I know that I did say that we were gonna sand the entirety of this down, but time is not working with me. But hopefully we can get it done next episode and get it ready for sealer. The gin is coming along. That is a fact. Anyways, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.